Welcome back to the vlog everybody. We've got some exciting R32 GTST content for you guys today. That's right, we're picking up with our Rocket Bunny version 1.5 kit that we sourced through throttle. Quinn and I are gonna be fitting that while Ricky's working on the front end. As you guys know, this is a GTST and we're fitting a GTR body kit to it. So it's gonna take some finagling to get it on there and fitting just right. Ricky is working on getting our hood so that it closes, which means he's modifying the hood latch so that when the hood comes down, it actually clicks into the latch and we can use it as a stock latch would act. Uh, the GTST hood latch is pushed a little too far forward, um, so he's basically gonna cut that. I'll let him go over it with you, but it takes a little bit of surgery. So he's gonna knock that out. So as you can see, I've been working on this uh, hood latch. So uh, I made the line, I made the cut, and I shave all these down so I can get ready to uh, tack weld it. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna pop this over. So this uh, latch needs to come, come towards the end here one inch over, right? So I'm gonna overlap this thing, I'm gonna push it in one inch, and then I'm gonna tack weld it. That way Ev can just uh, take weld all the way across. So I just finished tacking this part right here and adjusting the uh, latch, and I pretty much got it. Everything left to do is for Ev to come over here and take weld all the way around and then onto the next thing. So now that I got done doing the latch and it's waiting for Evan to weld, I'm installing the grill. I'm bolting it down so I can get ready to put an L bracket to finish. So because this is a GTR grill and this is a GTSD, the center uh, a mount is obviously not here, so I'm gonna make a mount for it, that way we have the full, all five points of the grill done. And then from there, I'm gonna start working on the front bumper. That's it, grill and front bumper mounts are done. Uh, Mickey's still working on the body kit, so we'll get the side mounts later. Okay, so I got our first self tapper on for the rear over fender. So kind of the first job is to get it set where it wants to be and have kind of your lines figured out. So like if you see over here, we have a body line here that runs into the kit. So uh, part of figuring this out is figuring out how it wants to sit in the cart kind of start sinking things where it needs to go. But I really want to get this line set right on the car. I want to get the gas cap area figured out so we don't run into issues with opening and closing that. This is the first step of the process. The uh, version 1.5 wing has uh, six M6 total uh, hardwares that go on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start to slap this on here if I can by myself. Already pre-drilled the holes, so they should be good to go. We're just gonna use some temporary hardware because this thing is gonna go off to paint. The paint and body shops almost always lose our hardware that we use, so we're not gonna put the downstar on there yet. Just gonna toss some new uh, M6s in, and that'll at least get us mounted. And then if the body shop loses this hardware, it is what it is, we don't really care. When it comes back, we'll put the nice stuff in. There's nothing wrong with this hardware, either. it's brand new hardware. It's just not downstar. This swing is so sick. It's not a swung neck, though. The swung's right behind you. Oh, that's a swung. <laughs> that's not a swung.
we ran into a problem with the gas door. So I got the gas door to clear the body kit. Um, something that we're now realizing, this body kit was made for a GTR, not a GTST. So because of that, there's this gap right here. So this is how much further out the GTR body kit is, the stock body on the GTR, than the GTST. The problem with that is, you flip the gas door open, the gas filler tube itself is tucked way back here. There's no way you're sticking a pump in there and pumping gas. That's a problem because, I don't know about you, but I like putting gas in my car so we actually drive it. So yeah, we need gas. We're gonna, we're gonna eclipse this. What we did with the eclipse, fill it there, straight across, sparkle gas door. Which honestly is gonna look better anyway because yes. this this has always kind of been the eyesore for this kit for me, how, how much it sticks out and the GTST just makes it worse. Yeah, and I also don't like the fact that we were gonna have to add material here anyway to make it match the GTST fender, which as you mentioned, isn't as wide as the GTR fender, so we've got this gap. I think it's the perfect solution. So we'll go ahead and order up a Sparco gas door, just like the Eclipse and the Freak, and uh, extend that tube, and it's, a, it's done. It's be done. When we extended the gas cap for the Eclipse, we used the stock filler neck. We did that because it was metal and you can get a good clamp on it. This, however, is completely made of molded plastic and we're not gonna be able to smooth this off enough and it's also not thick enough to run our two and a half. To run our pipe. <laughs> on the shaft. The shaft is not thick enough to run the pipe on, oh, cool. on the factory filler tube. So we're gonna have to switch it to aluminum, which means we're gonna have to make our own base plate, which is this. So this is going to be a replacement for this. Stevie Wonder cut that thing? And then we're gonna, not Ray Charles. So then we're gonna weld this pipe on here. That's gonna be on there and then we're done. And then this other end will go to the Sparkle gas door. I gotta round this out because she ain't a circle and then make a hole there so that the gas can go through and then I haven't walled it, we'll be done. What about this? We're gonna Ooh. worry about that later. We're gonna worry that, we're gonna get a little barb fitting on the pipe to what? I'm just really bad at making circles. Oh my God. It's, it's getting there, it's getting there. I'm not done yet. What the? Chill out, bro. Still a before and after, she flat. Think you got it? Yeah, no. Looking pretty good. She's a little derpy, but in a bad though. She not. Yeah, that's the term people, cooking people use. Oh, you got my season. He's, he's the master chef here. What are you doing? Oh. Seasoning. Oh. <laughs> Can someone please get a new water every now and then? Jesus. Can't afford a, uh, that's, a liter that's of the, water. That's the, that's the salt the nastiest pepper. That's the liquid. flavor, man. That's where all the good stuff is. Nice. That's sick, dude. Look at that. That's perfect. That looks freaking G, dude. That's pretty good. Yeah, it was, a little, it was a little derpy when I made it at first, but now that it's on the car. All right, so I got my gas tank side of the gas, new gas fill neck done. So we're gonna have to wait till the car comes back from body because they're actually gonna fill this panel right here. I'm gonna make that flat and then we're gonna 
let's pull an eclipse and put the sparkle gasto right on the side which is going to be beautiful and then once that's on then i can actually run my proper hose to the tank and i'll be done so this is as done as it's going to be for now until the car comes back from the body shop so mickey's taking the front lip off right now so we can install our new front lip and we're just going to keep going kind of the same pace we were yesterday so we're going to mark out where we need to. So this bumper's gotta get cut here for the front plate, the fenders. Hopefully we can get all four done today. I don't think we're gonna be quite 100% done today, but we're gonna get close. So we're still fitting the kit, still have some cutting to do, still have some figuring to do. We're gonna start on the other side. Over here. <laughs> oh, it's the same over here. Oh, Do you have to cut it or something? Ah. That is brutal. Are you over here? Well, the Pandem kit is fully installed on the driver's side of the car and we just use self tappers for now. Essentially what will happen is we'll rivnut nut the, the chassis itself and we'll use Downstar hardware to mount the panels. But for the body shop purposes, this is how we'll send it. We're able to get everything lined up as it should. Um, again, a little bit of challenges because we're dealing with a narrow body car with a wide body kit. Uh, which was meant to be a wide body car with a wide body kit. So Ricky uh, actually did a fantastic job with the heat gun. What we found that has happened, and we've done so many of these now that we're finally getting into a rhythm of uh, figuring out how these kits work much better. Because what happens is they sit in the box and shipping and sitting on the shelf waiting to be sold and in the box they get all bound up and the box gets tightened up around everything and everything kind of just sitting there it flexes and holds a different shape than it's meant to. By adding the heat that Ricky added with the heat gun it kind of allows it to relax and go back to its natural shape and allows you to really mold it to the car which is what we were able to do here. Okay, so Ricky is working on dialing in the body kit. I'm gonna move on to installing this, which is our ISR performance intercooler kit. What am I doing if Ricky's dialing the body kit? Ricky's handling I'm just hanging out. That's all you ever do. You just lay stickers, bud. Ricky are working on the body kit. I'm gonna be moving on to the intercooler. So we're gonna get this thing mounted. This is an intercooler kit for this car, so we're gonna install this guy and get the intercooler mounted front mount is going to be sick the intercooler that we got is massive the stock intercooler is tiny it's very little if you look in the fender well you can look at this look at this right here that's it that's the whole intercooler it's <laughs> tiny this one way better way better way better for cooling so let's get this on So Ricky is about to weld these tabs onto our nah. chassis. And these are for the lower mounts on the intercooler. So this is gonna hold it in place. So the original mounts, the intercooler was sunk down at back. We really wanted to push it out to the front of the bumper and make it nice and clean. And raise, and raise it up. And raise, yeah, raise it up. So it would kind of fill this whole section in the bumper. And so we're making our own stands for it, our own mounts for it. I wonder if I'm in And it's gonna look freaking product. sick. Is that, nothing goes in here, huh? No, these are called, this is a replica of the N1 vent for the GTRs. It's like $700 just for these pieces of plastic that pop into your stock front bumper. Dang. So this bumper came with it molded already, which is pretty cool. Save us 700 bucks right off the rip. Um, what's cool though is we're able to move it up and forward and give it more of a GTR look. And the GTST, because the opening for the GTST was way down here. Yeah. That's why it hung lower to get more airflow. But now we have this big, massive opening. We can take advantage of it. You're going to see sections of the intercooler bleed through. We 
Ricky, do a lot of people know about warming up kits, or is this your special thing? I know when I used to do my own body kits, it was really, I think I called a company, and I was like, hey man, you freaking kit fits like crap, they're like, did you heat it up with a heat gun? I'm like, why would I do that? And they're like, hit it up, and the second I did it, the whole thing became like rubber band, I was like, ooh. Ooh, that was a face. Ooh. Ricky tips and tricks. That's it, baby. So we have the front fender cover done. Was that a cover, a fender layer, yeah. fender? Yeah, the front fender done. It took me about 15, 20 minutes to warm that up, so I'm gonna start working on the back. It's a little bit bigger, so it's probably gonna take me a full 20 minutes. I'll warm this up, then I'll call Mickey up, and then we'll do the same thing. Those are some hips. It still looks kind of weird because the fenders are black. You can't really, really get an idea of what it looks like, but holy crap, that is wide. I was a little iffy on the wing initially, but seeing it with a kit on. So was I, now that I see it, it looks yeah. super what? good. This is the shot, Quinn said. Woo! Is that, is that not the shot? That is the shot. Holy <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty sick. What I like is how the face sticks out. Like the lip yeah. goes back yeah. another, like two inches. Super sick, dude. It's pretty cool how they did that. It looks like the center's floating. Mm -hmm. The kit's on, test fitted the wheels, got the intercooler mounted. Now it's time for us to start cutting this thing up. But you guys are gonna have to join us in the next video to see that. So hit that subscribe button, leave us some comments down below. Definitely give us a thumbs up, we appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Hey Ricky, do you mind? Dude. We're trying to film. You gotta stop doing these things on camera. <laughs> no, it makes it fun. It does, Ricky. Huh? It does. This fing guy. Would you say uh, like fabricating things is probably one of the biggest things you've learned from working here so far, Quinn? Uh, yeah, it's good, man. It seems like it. He's learned how to be it's, It seems Jesus. like you can whip those up. Like, from Ricky. It seems like you can whip stuff up pretty quickly. Man. I'm getting there. I make a whole bunch of, most of the stuff I make is really ugly. But we're not <laughs> I didn't say talk that. About I didn't that. say that. We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> yeah, we won't talk about that. You know? I think. Yeah. He's he, learned a lot from you already. He's, he's doing good. He's, he's learned a lot. He's he can teach me a lot of things too. That's what's cool. Like we have opposite skill sets, which is pretty neat. You you drink those grape nosses even when we have the other nosses? Dude, this is the best flavor. What? Grape. Disgusting. You disgust me, Nick. Grape, dude. Grape is the way to go. I was drinking those because that was all that was in the case. I know, I was getting mad because everybody was drinking them because it's all we had and it's my favorite one. Now we have the least amount of grappe because they didn't bring us any more because you guys all complained. So now I get hosed. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Agreed, Ricky. I see where I rank around here. Sticker layer. I, all, I'm, all I do is put stickers on. All right, lost in space. Get the, get the welding. Hey, nice, nice mask, dude.